Sevoflurane has an oil gas partition coefficient of 53, so it's less potent than isoflurane, but more potent than desflurane, giving it a MAC of 2. Sevoflurane has a reasonably low blood gas partition coefficient, making it faster in its onset and offset than isoflurane. This, combined with its sweet odour, makes it useful for gas inductions. 2% of it is metabolised in the body to both organic and inorganic fluorides, some of which are potentially toxic. It's also relatively unstable in the presence of moist soda lime, producing potentially toxic substances including compounds A to E. Compound A is of most concern with potentially nephrotoxic effects, but clinically its concentration never reaches the threshold for these effects to manifest. So now pharmacodynamics. Cardiovascularly, it does reduce systemic vascular resistance and myocardial contractility, which result in reduced blood pressure. It has bronchodilatory effects and, like isoflurane, reduces tidal volumes and increases respiratory rate. As we've already mentioned, all volatile agents reduce cerebral metabolic rate for oxygen. However, below a MAC of 1, the body's autoregulation of cerebral blood flow is actually maintained. It's only if you go above a MAC of 1 that cerebral blood flow rises. In terms of GU effects, just like isoflurane, sevoflurane reduces uterine tone.